Hello students, today we are going to deal with the lesson People's Participation in Project Planning from the chapter Project Planning. Community participation in project planning and management is essential in enhancing development at the basic community level, a critical tool for sustainable development and a foundation for national development. Furthermore, it also promotes equity, legitimates decision-making processes, builds, strengthens self-determination and predisposes the people toward a more democratic behavior and development. Participatory development paradigm has increasingly been associated with people and their aspirations to make decisions affecting their own lives. Central to these aspirations is their desire to plan and participate in the identification, planning and management of their needs without outside prescriptions. Community participation has the propensity of achieving project sustainability and increased utilization rate of the project by members of the community and sustained ownership. It concludes that national development cannot be achieved without partnership and active participation of people at the community level. Community members are important partners in national development and therefore their participation, ownership and sustainability of the projects has a multiplier effect of enhancing the overall development of the local community and contributing to the country's national development and economic growth. It was believed that integration as opposed to the isolated action of various departments and sectors would lead to symbiotic effect, thus enhancing the efficiency of project. The experts recognized that most development failures originated in attempts to impose standard top-down projects on diverse local realities where they do not fit or meet the needs of the local people. Due to the top-down approach that has been adopted by most governments in developing countries for most of the projects they had initiated for its communities, continued suffering as long as development specialists kept planning things for the people. The top-down methodological approach employed then was responsible for the collapse of most community development projects such as dams, bridges, schools and even health facilities. People participation has been given importance because of the concern for cost effectiveness. The more the local people do, the less capital costs are likely to be and the belief that it is right that people should be empowered and should have more command over their lives. Stakeholders such as opinion leaders, beneficiaries, women local leaders and the general local community all have a stake in whatever is invested in the community. Exclusion of community members in the development project was responsible for the slow economic growth despite increased foreign aid which did not offer any solution to the deepening poverty within developing countries. This was because local participation had been completely excluded and hence they did not invest their thinking in projects being put up. Meaning of Participation Participation is an important concept in development and because of its wide application, it means different things to different people. However, the way it is defined largely depends on the context and background in which participation is applied. As a matter of fact, participation includes people's involvement in the entire decision-making process. In implementation of programs, their sharing in benefits of development and their involvement in efforts to evaluate such programs. Furthermore, participatory development stands for partnership which is built upon the basis of dialogue among the various actors during which the agenda is jointly set and local views and indigenous knowledge are deliberately sought and respected. This implies negotiation rather than the dominance of a set agenda. It is the involvement by local people in the creation, 
content and conduct of the project designed to change their lives and requires recognition and use of local capacities. It also avoids the imposition of priorities from outside. Participation is driven by a belief in the importance of entrusting citizens with the responsibility to shape their own future. Community participation is an active process by which beneficiaries or groups influence the direction and execution of a development project with a view to enhancing their well-being in terms of income, personal growth and self-reliance. Community members must own and control the process by making decisions as to its progress and design activities that will subsequently enable them to achieve the desired goal. Participation is the collective effort by the people concerned to pool their resources to attain their objectives. In this regard, participation is viewed as an active process in which the participants take initiatives and actions that are stimulated by their own thinking and by deliberations. People or beneficiaries are the object of development and it is their involvement in the direction and execution of projects which is of concern here. The joint or collaborative involvement of beneficiaries in groups is a hallmark of project. In the context of a development project, beneficiaries as individuals can be made to participate in many ways. Their needs and preferences can often be ascertained through individual interviews and they can be made to share in project costs individually through a government order. But community participation can be said to occur only when people act in concert to advise, decide or act on issues which can best be solved through such joint action. For example, where externalities or indivisibilities are present or organized groups are essential for commitment creation, learning, confidence building, cost sharing, etc. Hence, the use of the qualifying term community is used. Community participation refers to a process and not a product in the sense of sharing project benefits. For example, acquisition of economic assets through a project, example land, house, does supplement the power and freedom of poor people. It is possible, however, that some people might get a fair share of the benefits of the project in the first round, but find it difficult to sustain them as they never went through the process of cooperative action, learning and building up their capacity. This is not to deny the importance of the sharing of benefits, but to say that community participation viewed as process provides a dimension that goes beyond benefit sharing and is relevant to the issue of project sustainability. Planning in any project is a communication process where people with different views and ideas share on how a desired situation should look like and how they are likely to get there and how to express these ideas together and reach a consensus. Through communication, people can achieve the commitment necessary to sustain the decision taken by them. For effective development to be realized, the community, which is the major beneficiary of the project, must be involved by use of a project implementation committees to coordinate project planning and other aspects such as budgeting, resource identification, procurement and allocation. Participation initiates an empowerment process which allows those affected by the project to assume responsibility for designing initiatives implementing them and maintaining high levels of project sustainability. It is a goal in itself and which can be expressed as an empowerment process of acquiring the skills, knowledge and experience to take greater responsibility for their development. Participative approaches depend on people and nothing happens or succeeds without their cooperation and involvement. Many development projects have stalled or collapsed as a result of lack of certain fundamental participatory processes involving people and because of these lapses, management gaps emerge and threaten the survival of the projects and their fruition. Evidence from several cases show that availability of project funds alone is not a guarantee for the success of the project and by extension its sustainability. People's participation in management, monitoring and evaluation is important. 
the traditional community structures must be respected because they legitimize the project whether funded by the government or of a donor agency. Their involvement in the management allows them to accept the project and hold the local leadership accountable for the funds being used and how the project quality shapes up. Although participation focuses on the active involvement of all stakeholders in the content of the program, there are a number of levels of participation. Extractionist participation, which emphasizes the role of the government in planning and implementation of development projects and activities, often with involuntary contribution to the projects. Extractionist participation, which emphasizes the role of the government in the planning and implementation of development projects and activities often with involuntary contribution to the project. It is likely to fail because it is supposed to contribute to the national development, but people are not expected to take part in shaping it or criticizing its content, but are treated as objects stripped of decision-making responsibilities regarding planning and their initiatives. This approach creates room for abuse of power. It is the ideal model which seeks to empower the powerless towards assuming full responsibility over their destiny within their cultural and socio-economic spheres. Needs identification is an important stage in project designing at the grassroots level. Project planning starts with the identification of a need or the realization that there is a need. This identification and the sharing of the vision elicit a commitment from the people to continue with the process of community development to become a reality. This process is followed by group discussions and analysis. Such a discussion is aimed at understanding the problem, how it affects them and its extent. This shared understanding provides a solid foundation for identifying the problem and trying to find ways of solving it. It also helps to clarify the scope of the problem at hand and the resources available. The community is also able to set the objectives, goals and how the intended development will proceed. Therefore, any development to succeed, there must be participation by all stakeholders. They must understand their needs, be able to prioritize and rank them according to the severity of the needs. They must understand how the problem affects them, including their causes and effects. They must also be involved in assessing the options available to them, given their resource base. Needs identification by community members is important because once they collectively conceive a problem and prioritize it, they then move it to the stage of appreciating its extent and legitimizing the process of solving it. If they do not participate in needs identification, even if the need is identified with the assistance of the outside facilitator, they will not legitimize it. This leads to greater chances of stalling at the implementation stage. The people have to be involved in the needs identification. They must be involved in prioritizing and ranking of the needs and building a consensus around what they believe amounts to the problems facing the community. They should not be influenced to accept a need as a problem affecting them because it amounts to imposing a priority from outside. Participation of community members in local projects, therefore, has the potential to influence, challenge, change and modify local village economy for the benefit of all. In particular, if projects targeting the local poor are appropriately planned and effectively managed, they are likely to benefit and move from a level of dependency to that of self-reliance with the resultant effect of scaling down poverty. For this to be achieved, it requires participation of local people in needs identification. For example, what are their most urgent needs? Have they ranked these needs in order of priority? Have they participated in ranking them? It also includes the need to participate in planning, management and evaluation of their programs. One major limitation to this participation is political interference in the decision-making process. 
This is always done at the local or community level, in which case people's decision making is constrained. Project design speaks of the importance of understanding beneficiary attitudes, customs and skills and motivation in order to design appropriate project services. Cultural factors are important in the success and sustainability of community or development projects. The relevance of a project to the cultural norms and taste of the local people should be established early to avoid unnecessary losses on projects which turn out to be white elephants. Four factors are important for a sociological understanding of the community. They are the socio-cultural and demographic characteristics of local beneficiaries, the social organization of productive activities of the population in the project area, the cultural acceptability of the project and its compatibility with the behavior and perceived needs of the intended beneficiaries the social strategy for project implementation and operation needed to elicit and sustain beneficiaries' participation. Participation does not take place in a vacuum, but in a socio-political context. Three major obstacles to people's participation in project management are structural obstacles, they were largely responsible for the atmosphere of passivity and dependence that prevails in rural communities and formed part of the centralized political system which are not oriented towards people's participation. This type of situation is typified by a top-down development approach adopted by development initiatives like the integrated rural development programs. The administrative structures that are control-oriented provide little significant space to local people to make their own decisions or control their resources. Social obstacles such as the mentality of dependency, the culture of silence, the domination of a local elite or gender inequality are disadvantages to people. The implication of these omissions is participation as a process fails. The rural communities have little or no organizational and managerial skills. This shortcoming is likely to expose the community members to intentional mismanagement and other forms of manipulation by the rural elite. This inability to plan and manage situations may contribute to the failure of the projects. Even though women form the bulk of community labor force for community projects, they are often marginalized when it comes to access to information, decision making and access to opportunities for capacity building. As people are involved in process, they are likely to own their processes as their own and therefore manage it effectively. At this level, stakeholders identify and prioritize the core of the problems and their causes and effects. Once the problem has been identified, people discuss it exhaustively before a consensus is built. The objective analysis is done and a possible solution worked out based on the cost-effect relationship. This leads to the planning stage. This is an important stage because finer details are discussed. The problem is discussed further by focusing on the budget, resource mobilization, expected completion date, designing and costing of activities, implementation plan and schedule and wrap up evaluation plan. During the implementation process, all activities designed at the planning stage are actualized and implemented by the people. Responsibility for this process is participatory and therefore people driven. The final stage in the program is participatory evaluation which seeks to redistribute power in favor of the powerless and constitutes a process of devolution of power for decision making and review of those decisions to the same people served by the project. It gives recognition and respect for local knowledge and experience of the people's ability to review and judge their own experience with a reasonable measure of objectivity. Joint participation of the project team and beneficiaries representatives in drawing up the terms of reference for the evaluation ensures local ownership 
and commitment not only to the exercise and its outcome but more importantly to the future of the program evolution. Some of the benefits are participation ensures efficient utilization of resource. People work together towards achieving their objectives. If the objective is to construct a bridge of a health center, then they are likely to move together towards that direction. People's participation increases effectiveness. Projects can be finalized within the time schedule. They can also carry out monitoring and evaluation and draw a progress report. Participation also increases effectiveness by granting them a say in designing the objectives and strategies in the project. It reduces dependency and increases self-reliance. People would not always look at the government to solve all their problems. With active involvement and participation in the process of development, it is possible to break the mentality of dependency and utilize their own resources, both human and material, on the basis of the decision taken by the people themselves and from the realization that they have the solutions to their local problems. People participation can be a potent way of ensuring the flow of the benefits to the beneficiaries. The cost-effective operations ensures that resources are available for wider coverage of weaker sections of society. Generally, development interventions are funded either by the government or by external donor agencies. Experience has shown that development interventions from externally assisted projects fail to sustain the required level of development activity once funding has been withdrawn. The involvement of the people and the utilization of local resources generates a sense of ownership over the development projects by the local people. Project planning and implementation could become more efficient because of timely beneficiary inputs. Beneficiaries may be expected to contribute labor, money or undertake to maintain the project. People's participation could be used to promote agreement, cooperation and interaction among beneficiaries and between them and the implementation agency of the project so that delays are reduced, a smoother flow of project services is achieved and overall costs are minimized. It also allows people to build their capacities and identify and own the project. This leads to efficiency and sustainability. Increased empowerment of people leads to increased capacity to manage processes, monitor, evaluate, make decisions and gain analytical ability to understand their own difficult situations. Increased people's participation, especially the interactive participation, has generated increased expectations due to the involvement by the local people because participation, especially by self-mobilization, is an essential ingredient in development processes. Participation by people in the projects is therefore important to national development. First, participatory approach to development is an empowering process. It allows members to grow both professionally, physically and in the understanding of the dynamics of change and how to cope with it. Through this dynamics, they are able to evolve as skillful people capable of taking up challenges, facing them as a community. It also enhances their capacity to skillfully analyze issues and make appropriate decisions, manage time and organize a sequence of activities beneficial to the community. Using these enhanced capacities, they are able to pool their synergies in building their own communities to systematically scale down poverty and contribute to regional and national development. With this, we have come to the conclusion of the lesson People's Participation in Projects Planning. Students, do you have any questions? Ma'am, I have a question. What are the differences between a project and operation? Good question. Project is temporary in nature, whereas an operation is ongoing. Projects have temporary teams, whereas operations have permanent teams. Each project is unique in nature, whereas operation steps are identical. Any further questions? So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Hope you have all understood. Thank you.